We are living in an accelerating world where the requirements for efficiency and sustainability are high. Recently, the world witnessed a huge leap in the development of machines. The increasing complexity of the machines imposes that different disciplines are combined to analyze and optimize different effects on the machine's behavior. For this project, different effects on the hydraulic crane movement and deformation were analyzed parallelly in the laboratory and by a multi-domain simulation. The first domain which was utilized is 3D multibody dynamics to describe the movement of the crane parts with respect to each other by solving the equations of motion. The second simulation domain is hydraulics, which was used for the system actuation. The hydraulic circuit is divided into volumes in which the pressure is assumed to be constant according to the lumped fluid theory. The fluid movement is caused by the pressure differences between these volumes. The third domain, which was utilized to simulate the flexibility of the structure, is finite element modeling. The structure is divided into smaller parts, something like Lego cubes. The obtained model contains a large number of Lego cubes and of possible ways of deformation. So the Craig Bunton method was utilized to single out the most significant deformation modes and to obtain a reduced order flexible model which contains all relevant information about the structural properties. This method allows describing local deformations due to forces and joints using boundary Lego cubes, but also deformations within the structure using interfacial frames or interfacial Lego cubes. The final part of the work is the position control system modeling. For this project, the PID control system was chosen. The system calculates the error between the actual crane position and the set position and according to that error gives a response. The appropriate response was achieved after the PID tuning. As an outcome, an accurate model has been achieved with small deviations from the laboratory results. This model can be applied for, for excavator dynamic simulations. An interesting future research topic is fatigue analysis by taking into account obtained strains and stresses.